Hey guys, Aaron here with another fountain pen video. And uh, today is a, another comparison video. And the uh, I know some of you may uh, not like the fact that I'm comparing these two pens, but I think it's interesting to compare the two pens. I know that you've got one, the one on top being the Caveco Sport, that is a, a classic pen. Um, that has been around for a very long time. And then you have the one below the Delike that is essentially, um, some would say, a, a knockoff to that pen. I would say otherwise that it is more of a pen to um, kind of pay homage to the Caveco Sport. Now, Again, um, we're going to have different categories to compare, so um, and we'll have a winner for each category. And again, these are based off of my opinions. Um, so the first category is going to be around variety. Um, then we'll talk about overall aesthetics, uh, pricing, um, and then performance. And then I'll pick which one I enjoy using the most at the end. Now, bear in mind, I'm only talking about the two pins that you see in front of you. And again, as always, these for me are at least direct representations of the pen line itself, especially when it gets to the performance side of things. I only have the luxury of reviewing one fountain pen. Um, I don't have the money, of course, to buy 20 or 30 fountain pens to review um, and, or use in order to review. So um, I'm only going to be talking about the two pins you see in front of you. Now, the first section that we'll talk about is variety. Now, variety to me, this is of the entire um, pen line itself. So specifically to these two fountain pens. So we'll talk about the Caveco uh, Sport first. So the Caveco Sport is offered in a plastic, metal, and carbon fiber materials. Um, so you've got your plastic materials similar to what you see here. Um, which are offered in, in many different colors. You have your metal materials, and then you also have your carbon fiber pins as well. Within these materials, you have roughly over 40 different color variations and a very wide range of nib options. So there's definitely a, probably a Caveco Sport out there for someone. Um, if you you know aren't big on black and gold pens, I'm sure if you look up a Caveco Sport, you'll find a pen as far as a color variation and a nib option that suits you. Um, the Delike um, has uh, four different acrylic options. It has a metal plus brass. Um, and then the nibs are offered in extra fine, medium, and an extra fine bit nib. And that is really about it as far as the Delight nib goes. Um, as far as colors, again, it has the four acrylic options, uh, one of them being the one that you see here. On the metal and brass options, you're looking at roughly about five to six different colors. Um, I have seen some limited edition colors that... Um, uh, have been out there, but again, those are limited edition. So for me, the variety section, I'm going to give to the Caveco Sport because I just think that there is a lot more um, out there available that will probably appeal to just about every person. Um, and, you know, one of the pins that I at some point would like to own is one of the carbon fiber versions of the Caveco Sport. I think they're um, some pretty neat pins. So I definitely give the variety section to the Caveco Sport. Now, overall aesthetics. So overall aesthetics, again, we're going to be looking at just the general aesthetics of these two pens. And primarily, I'm going to focus on the two pens that you see in front of you. Now, for me, it's a clear-cut winner. It's going to be the Delight Fountain Pen, um, and, and mainly because of that material. And, you know, for me, I, I love this type of, of acrylic material, the, the pattern uh, of the material. And you don't have, while you have a lot of color variations in the Caveco Sport, I really like the design of the Delike and how they kind of changed it up a little bit and made it different. Um, and, you know, to give you a close up of, of how that acrylic material looks, um, it is very attractive. Um, as you can tell, it does have some translucent properties to it. I mean, not a lot, but you can see through it. As you take the cap off, um, you can see a little bit in there. 
Um, and I like the fact that there's some depth to the um, material. So for me, the um, overall aesthetics, the Delike is definitely the winner from that perspective. Now, when we're looking at pricing, um, we'll start with the Caveco Sport first. Um, as a general rule of thumb, you're looking at about an average price range of about $22 for most of your plastic um, variations. Now, again, there is a wide price range with uh, Caveco Sport because it's offered in so many different nib options and so many different materials that it's hard to say one specific price range. Now, one of the downsides to um, having or, or purchasing a Caveco, while you're only going to be paying roughly about anywhere between 15 on the low end that, that I've seen and 25 uh, on the high end, um, you will not be receiving a clip or a converter with the fountain pen. Um, you do have to purchase one of their proprietary converters, which is going to be an additional average cost of $5. And the clip is about an average cost of $5 as well. So that is going to bring your grand total in the range of $30 to $35, depending upon where and how you acquire the pen. So that is a little bit of a downside to the Caveco Sport. While it is a, a classic fountain pen and to me a, a very, very interesting pen, um, in order to have a converter and being, being able to use different types of bottled ink, um, you do have to purchase that separately. And again, it is a proprietary converter. Um, and then the same thing with the clip. Now, most people um, may not have a need or want for a clip, but with this being a pocket pen, um, obviously, um, you know, if you're putting in a shirt pocket, you're going to want a clip. Now, if you're putting it in a pant pocket, it's not that big of a deal. Um, now the Delike, on the other hand, you're looking at an average price range of $15 on the low end to $25 on the high end. Um, there are still some of these resin materials out there for around 25 um, most of the metal versions are going to be in the $15 price range. And with this, you are getting a converter and you are getting a clip as well. So you do not have to purchase those items separately. Now, I will say that um, along with that, and that kind of will go into our performance section more or less, um, both pins can be eyedroppered um, or, or eye dropped with a little bit of modification, of course. Um, and for me, the pricing, um, is, I give to the, to the, uh, the like overall. And the only reason being is just the fact that you, you do not have to purchase the, um, the converter and the clip separately, um, from the uh, Caveco Sport. So I do give the pricing aspect to the um, Delight fountain pen. The, and again, the metal variations are at a lesser uh, price, um, and I think they're, they're pretty well-made fountain pens. So I definitely think that's uh, something to be noted. Now, overall performance for both pens, and, and we'll talk about that. And that's going to mainly be, you know, obviously – the nib and how that performs um, and how that associates as well with your filling system. Um, again, uh, both of these pins can be eye dropped. So you, you can um, do that as well with a little bit of silicone grease and an O-ring. You can eye dropper both of these fountain pins. Um, now looking at the converters between the two pins. So you have your delight converter, which is, is very, very similar to a platinum converter. And then you have your, um, Caveco sport. So you're, you have a larger opening right here on your, um, section that allows for a larger converter with the delight converter you have about a, a roughly a, a max ink capacity of 0.6 milliliters with your caveco you have a smaller opening which in essence you have a smaller converter so you have a maximum ink capacity of roughly 0.4 milliliters so you can get more ink out of your delight pen um, so while you may want to change your inks um, quite a bit you're not going to feel like you're going to be running out of ink every time you turn around um, the other nice thing is, is this is more of, uh, this is obviously a twist um, converter versus a push and pull converter. For me, that is not an issue, but I do know that some people, um, based off of reviews that I've seen and comments, do not care for this type of converter. 
Um, I have heard that this converter does have some performance issues, at least in some of the reviews that I've read on different um, websites. Um, I have not personally had any issues with this converter, and for me, it works perfectly fine. Now, as you can tell, I don't have either pin I dropped, so I, I can't necessarily state how easy that is or anything else. Um, now, there are videos out there showing how to eye drop a Caveco Sport. Um, I think Brian Goulet has actually a video out there specifically on um, a Caveco Sport. Um, now, one other thing I would like to say, so in, in regards to performance, so now we're going to start talking about the nib. Um, both pins, um, when I received them, I did have some issues with the nib. So the Delight down here has the extra fine bent nib. And um, if you guys watched my video review of the pin when I first got it, it, it definitely was um, very toothy and very scratchy. And I've had other Delight bent nibs that were very consistent riders and wrote very well, but this one was, was an exception. So uh, I use a little bit of micro mesh, and, and with that, it made the nib much more usable and, and, and friendly to write with. But that was something that was a, a bit um, off-putting when I first got the pen. Now, on the Caveco Sport side of things, um, the, the nib is a medium nib, and I did have um, some issues with um, what seemed to be a little bit of baby's bottom with the pen. So again, not as consistent on the writing. The flow was much better than the Delight initially. Um, but there were some consistencies on different types of paper or inconsistencies on different types of paper. So there were some issues with both uh, nibs. Um, but I would say overall performance... Um, I, would say, I would say it's a draw for me. And that's just for me specifically because... You know, if I'm talking about both pins, um, this one is, is a nice wet rider. Um, it has a little bit thicker line, which I do like. Um, the Delight nib, um, since I've used micro mesh on it, it is much more consistent, and I enjoy using that pin. Um, so up next, guys, I'm going to do a quick writing sample with both pins, and then I'll talk about which one I enjoy using the most. I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and the first pen that I am going to use is the Delike. And this is the Delike Alpha. And the ink that I have in here is Newler's Blue. There you have it. Now for some line variation, you're not going to be getting that with this pen. Um, wetness test. You know, this is a, a pretty wet ink, so um, it definitely um, is not a dry ink, and it does suit this pen well, I think. Um, so overall, I, I definitely, since, you know, doing some smoothing with this, um, it has been much nicer to write with. Um, and, um, it only took me probably a couple minutes to get the pen to perform the way it, uh, should. Um, so now we are going to write now with the Caveco Sport. And the ink for this one is, oh my goodness. Uh, Diamine, green, black, I'll just put G slash B. So green, black, I really like this ink. <clears throat> and uh, so we had an extra fine bit nib up here. We have a medium nib down here.
again, you know, we've got a fatter line down here, obviously with the medium nib. Um, so it, it's kind of hard to, you know, there's not going to be any line variation. As far as wetness with this, this is a, a very, this is an ink that dries very fast. So wetness test is not going to be a, a great thing, but it, this is a wet pen. I mean, it definitely gives you a nice juicy line and I, and I do enjoy that about it. So again, I enjoy writing with this pen. So now for the end of the video, which one do I prefer? Which one do I like writing with uh, the most? That is a very tough decision. Um, and I think it's based off of what I'm using the pens for. Um, I do find myself using this one a lot more at work. Um, the delight and partially because it does have a, a thinner line. I can use it on kind of some cheaper paper. It's perfect to fit in a pocket wh whereas both of them are, but this one is, is a much more versatile pen as far as using at work. Now you could get a Caveco sport with a, a fine nib and it would probably perform at the same rate. Um, this one I have used to write a couple of letters and different things. So I do use, enjoy using this pen for me, which one do I prefer the most? Or if I had to pick between the two, I would probably go with the Delight pen only because the material that it is is made out of is just a joy to look at in person. Um, and if I was comparing this one to maybe one of the carbon fiber Caveco Sports, maybe I would change my mind a little bit. But that again is just my opinion and it's between these two pens. I think both of these pens are definitely worth owning. I'm happy that I have both of them. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want a more in-depth review on both of these pens, go back and look at some of my previous videos. You will find both reviews on there. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you've not already done so, and I will be pumping out more videos as soon as I can. I did, real quick, before I get off, and you guys can comment down in the sections if you know what this pen is. You should if you guys been collecting for a while um, but I wanted to show it real quick um, I've already started restoring it and uh, you already saw the name on there um, but this is a pen that I will be doing a review on um, soon hopefully um, I actually have two of them that I will be doing some restoring on and getting them to proper writing uh, performance and I, as soon as I do that I will do reviews on both of those pens so again guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, have a wonderful rest of your week, and I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.